people thought I was crazy. They were like, you're kidding me. What are you doing now? I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to change the way America packs and moves. I'm going to eliminate the cardboard box. And they were like, you're nuts. My name is Spencer Brown, and I'm the founder of Earth Friendly Moving and the inventor of the Rico Pack. 22 months ago, I had to pack and move a home office, and I spent about 800 bucks on cardboard. Couldn't find anybody to take it off my hands after I was, you know, after it was used for a week, and uh, ended up at the landfill. And you start looking around, going, "Wait a second! The landfills are filled with cardboard. Why would we cut down a tree to make a box to throw it away?" And I thought there's got to be a better way. And I set out on this journey to reinvent the cardboard box, and I've created the Rico Pack. The Rico Pack is made from recycled plastic trash. Basically, what we do is we take a, a, a bleach bottle, any, any of those bottles under your kitchen sink or laundry room. We uh, melt those down, and each box takes between 74 and 125 plastic bottles. So the company began with renting the Rico Pack for a buck a box a week. And we keep adding um, different aspects to the business, uh, different products, uh, and it's just evolved uh, beyond our control. This is my poopy palette. It's lightweight and durable, and it's made from 700 baby diapers. How this works is they stack the Rico packs on the poopy pallet. A truck comes by, picks it up, brings it back to us. We clean it. This is the replacement for styrofoam peanuts. What this is, is it's 100% recycled paper sludge. When you read your newspaper and you throw it away, hopefully in your recycle bin, they process it, the recyclers, and there's a paste that comes as a byproduct of agitating the fibers. That paste is um, usually incinerated. So what we've done is we've fortified this with pectins, trace minerals, and in doing that, we've been able to provide a usable product when you unpack, all you have to do is put this in your garden, turn the soil, and the worms will eat it, and it'll feed your trees. So it's basically packing compost. Spencer has really put the easy into going green. He delivers his supplies to your door in one of his veggie oil fuel trucks and walks you through the process, starting with some recycled paper to replace bubble wrap. This is, uh, this is one of the many things we make from trash. You're gonna love this, this is so much fun. Right, so what's happening is, as you can see, is the paper is a flat sheet and it's die cut and it's been um, uh, expanded. But this, what's nice is this. So this instead of bubble wrap? Uh-huh, this is gonna replace it. I'm gonna show you how to pack and move your kitchen with this product. Okay. What I love about this is it's lightweight, it's 70% cheaper than bubble wrap. And then we make it right in front of your house, as many feet as you need. Voila. Yay! <laughs> Being green for most consumers is not their priority. They, they just don't do that. They're not, they're not conditioned to do that. What they're conditioned to do is save time and money. Well, I mean, obviously it's, it's the right thing to do, but then when you factor in that it's cheaper, I'm saving money. Why so cheap? Made from trash. It's easy. He brings them to my house. The intent has always been is that we're delivering environmental consciousness in a box. And then on top of that, that it's good for the environment. It's pretty much a no-brainer. A lot of our customers, when they realize that everything they bought is from trash, they're blown away. It's great. I mean, it's kind of funny. You think that you're packing your kitchen items in trash, but you know, when he explains the concept to you, it makes sense. They're like, this is unbelievable. How did you come up with this? And I said, it just started with a simple idea, a box. We'll be at a million boxes in 30 months. And I can see us having at least 10 million boxes out in five years. And, and after that, who knows where this is gonna go. Coming up next on It's Easy Being Green, Iron Chef winner Mark Tarbell tells us about a road trip he took powered by the French fry. Like used fry oil? You have any used sure. fry oil? We have a uh, Japanese rice oil. Rice oil? Arigato! Blip, 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 blip.